Good evening and welcome. We are so glad you have joined us this evening. Relax, get comfortable, and we will begin our journey to the Garden of Eden. After leaving the jetty, a small motorboat crosses the shallow, pale blue lagoon, then passes the outer reef to anchor in the deep, dark blue ocean off the island. A stunning and rarely visited paradise. On approaching the island, the boat anchors around the back. Out of the breeze, on the ocean side, in calm waters. The view from the boat captures everyone's breath. All move to the side of the boat and stand in silence. The outer face of the island is a light limestone-colored rock, covered in a dense rainforest canopy, cascading down from the rocky outcrops high above. The visitors are met by the sounds and sights of dozens of brightly colored birds that fly out from the dense forest and back into the thick, overgrown canopy. Then the noisy descent of hundreds of dark brown and black monkeys, swinging down on the long vines that hang to the surface of the dark blue ocean, while scooping up the water with their hands to splash themselves and their scampering friends. As slowly as they descend, the monkeys swing back to disappear into the thick canopy. But not before they have shown to all their open mouths and long canine teeth. The only visible clue now of their presence is the rustling of the leaves and the screech of their calls as they scamper through the dense canopy just out of sight. One of the visitors sees a giant lime green python coiled in the undergrowth, unseen by the monkeys. High on the cliff faces large rainforest trees branches overhang the cliff face below. In the bends of their thick branches, Clumps of colorful bromeliads grow, their long flower stalks catching the morning light. In the still morning air, the fragrance of these beautiful blossoms can be smelt below. Growing off the trunks of the forest trees, large staghorns cling to their hosts their broad, spreading leaf fronds, the perfect cover for birds nesting. Growing up from the rock base below, strangler figs can be seen snaking their way up across the rock face, then on to the trunks of their tree hosts, to eventually claim them as their own. In the morning light, the glistening of countless numbers of water droplets falling from the lush undergrowth above down to the calm ocean below creates a refreshing ambiance. Each droplet forming a momentary small circle of ripples as it merges with the sea. Protruding out through the dense undergrowth are some gray rock shelves and perched on those are dozens of bird nests with very loudly squawking chicks. Clinging to these rocky outcrops, a thick cover of lichens and mosses thrive in the moist environment. The boat rises gently from the small passing waves that pass under the boat, 
then falls gently as the surge recoils off the island rock face to flow back under the boat returning out to sea. It is as if the ocean is breathing, and with each breath, the boat slowly rises and falls. All aboard feel that this is an ocean meditation, and relax, enjoying the gentle movements of the boat in the warm, sunny weather. Looking closer through the lush forest undergrowth, a hidden cave is noticed, and deeper inside, some light can be seen beaming down from above. Leaving the boat, the visitors settle into brightly colored ocean kayaks and quietly paddle their way towards the cave. As they slowly paddle away from the boat, they notice the increasing energy of the ocean. Each swell moves their light kayaks together in unison. The visitors enjoy this very calming and joyful experience with the breath of the ocean as they fall into meditative appreciation. Paddling forwards towards the cliff and cave entrance, the visitors notice that the color of the ocean below them changes from a deep blue to a light blue-green as they come into shallower water. Paddling parallel with the rock face and looking into the clear water below, they notice fishes swimming above the yellow sandy bottom. It is as if they are suspended in the air, the water so calm and clear. The only sound, the very gentle sound of the light ocean swell, lapping against the rock wall. The first of the visitor's kayaks carefully nudges through the wall of greenery, passing into and underneath a low cave to discover an open roof to this part of the island. Around the rim, as they look up, the thick jungle hugs the rocky walls. The air temperature here is slightly cooler than outside. The visitors continue paddling quietly into the center of the island, looking above and around as they go. The jungle above erupts with the fluttering of thousands of brightly colored orange butterflies. Their small wings making a soft hissing sound in the stillness of the cavern. Their golden wings lit by the beams of light passing down through the thick forest canopy. The butterflies finally come to rest on the overhanging branches en masse. Their color transforms the greenery into a golden carpet. Continuing in the kayaks glide in silence until they gently come to a halt when their hulls touch the undisturbed white sandy cove. Stepping out onto the soft sand, the visitors all sit and quietly take in what they see to be a garden of Eden. In the stillness, it is as if they are in another world. The first sound heard by all is the sound of cascading water from a distant waterfall. The visitors secure their kayaks on the beach to inspect the origin of the sound. Walking into the dense undergrowth, they duck and weave, making their way slowly forwards. The thick tangle of vines and trees making progress slow. On the way, a small stream is crossed. The direction of the flowing stream pointing the way to the waterfall. 
The trickling sound of the water from the stream flowing over the pebbles and the green moss growing on its banks paints a picture of timeless tranquility. Large numbers of small freshwater fishes are seen quietly swimming in the stream's clear rock pools and also some very slow-moving freshwater crayfish. Together, walking through the thickening jungle, the sound of the waterfall becomes much louder, finally becoming a roar as they walk around the stump of a vast old rainforest tree. The waterfall and its large base pool appear as they walk out of the jungle. The spray of the deep rock pool at the base of the high waterfall creates a vapor mist curtain that swirls until finally settling on the rock walls. Either side of the falls and on the greenery surrounding the pool all the luxurious vegetation dripping with moisture. The visitors sit on the smooth, rounded boulders at the rock pool edge facing the waterfall. In the pristine silence, a faint whisper like a sound created by a light breeze swirling above the water surface can be heard. Its origin is the sheer of the falling water from high above striking the rock pool surface. Looking up above the pool, pockets of lush vegetation grow next to the cascading volumes of water on the rock ledges and deep cracks on the rock wall face. As the sun begins to set in the afternoon, the visitors return from the waterfall to their camp and settle around a campfire. A selection of light driftwood that has been deposited from successive high tides through the cave entrance is collected to make for a lovely fire to settle around. On their journey back, they stop at one rock pool to sit and listen to the chorus of dark green frogs calling in the jungle stillness, their calls echoing through the forest floor. Then, in the distance, the returning calls of other unseen frogs. Then, high above, they see high in the rainforest canopy a large eagle nest and hear small chicks calling. As the light slowly fades, the visitors find themselves in a children's storybook. On the walls of the cave are thousands and thousands of tiny glowworms, all flickering their little bright light on their bodies as they fly from one rock to another. This is such a beautiful and calming sight and experience. In the evening stillness, the vision of these tiny insects unperturbed by the campfire light, dancing as they have done since the dawning of time, will be long remembered. The overall experience of this tropical paradise leaves a lasting impression on all who have ventured into this Garden of Eden. <laughs>